Okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Miles' mom. Hello? This is Mr. Parker. It's Dreo Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please, call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Huh. This did keep the... Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down in mass. There were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit.
Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Ah, uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future. I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms.
Ugh. How do you know we lost our grant money? Just taste the new coffee. The device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Hmm. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch, noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you. I only wish you'd told me sooner, Doc. I didn't want to burden you. And if I'm honest... Telling you made my condition that much more real. I was afraid. My condition is worsening, but I choose to view it as a challenge. Extra incentive to push forward. 